For the SQL Access Advisor, let's again come into Cloud Control 12C and we'll open the Performance menu. Down under SQL, we have SQL Access Advisor, but actually before we do that, I want to take you over to Tuning Sets because I don't think we've seen that before. If we go into SQL Tuning Sets, we see a list of any that we've already created. I've created two, as you can see here. One contains nothing. Another one contains quite a bit of SQL. That's the one that we'll actually use. Note that when you select a tuning set, you can get details on it, drop it, copy it to a database, export it, and then, most importantly, you can take a tuning set and schedule it to run in the SQL Tuning Advisor or the Access Advisor directly. Isn't that cool? Now, when you create a tuning set, you can either import one or you can create one from scratch. Each has its own advantages. Let me go to Import from a file and I'll show you. You can get into your table spaces and then run this later. I'll just run it later tonight. Or you can run it now and build a tuning set based on data inside schema objects that have been imported. Or if we go to create, we can give the tuning set a name. I'll call this delete me. I'm not going to need it. You can either create it empty, not particularly useful, I don't think, initially. And then the source of the tuning set can either be a one-time load of SQL statements from the cache, from AWR snapshots and AWR baseline, or a user-defined workload. Or check this out, you can actually create a tuning set based on live production data over a duration and frequency, as you can see here. I'll cancel out. It's pretty darn awesome. So those are the tuning sets. Remember, a tuning set is a collection of SQL activity that's named and stored here and we can then feed the tuning set into one of our advisors. Now I could just as well hit Schedule SQL Access Advisor, but I want to come back to Performance, down to SQL, and over to SQL Access Advisor so you can see that interface as well. The options for initial options are Verify, Use of Access Structures, or Recommend New Access Structures, which is what I'll do. The workload, as you know, can come from the SQL Cache, an existing tuning set, or a hypothetical workload. I'm going to select SQL Tuning Set, and I clicked that little magnifying glass to bring this up. I'll select my Tuning Set 2. I know that that has some activity in it. Let's see here. You can do some filtering to reduce the amount of data in the workload that's being analyzed. That could be a good idea if your workload is really heavy and you know you just want to focus on a particular part of it. Let's click Next. I'm going to look for Index Opportunities. I'll do a limited scope run. And then as far as submitting the job to the scheduler, name, description, how much metadata you want to log, do not repeat. I'm just going to submit this directly, run immediately. And there we go. The task was created successfully, and we can click View Job Details to hop on over to the scheduler and see what's happening with it. Moreover, you can see specifically what's happening under the hood. This is a SQL Access Advisor job, and notice all the calls to the DBMS Advisor PLSQL package. To examine the results of our SQL Access Advisor run, we'll come back to Advisor Central. Remember, you do that by opening Performance, Advisor's Home. And down in the job list, we can find, here it is right here, my SQL Access Advisor run. It's completed, took 55 seconds, expires out of the list here in 30 days, and we can click View Result to see the results of that analysis. Wow, you know that saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. Look at this, workload I.O. cost, original cost versus new cost. That's pretty compelling. Query execution time improvement, four times improvement factor. Amazing. Notice that for recommendations, it says there's 11. Let's click that. Let's click Recommendation Details. And basically, it looks like it's asking us to either retain index or create indexes on particular base tables. Now, what they are in my case is irrelevant. I just want you to see that these suggestions are hyperlinked so that for a Create Index recommendation, we can actually click that link and it will show you specifically, it will give you the code necessary to implement that particular recommendation. And then down below it shows you the SQL statements that were affected by those given recommendations. We can step back out using the breadcrumb navigation trail up on top to come back to our list. Pretty cool. So that's a quick and dirty look at the SQL Access Advisor.